blue wildebeest anatomy, designed for the migration. Every year, over 1.5 million wildebeest embark on one of the most epic journeys on Earth, the Great Migration, covering nearly 1,800 miles across the Serengeti and Maasai Mara. These animals face predators, raging rivers, and some of the harshest terrains on the planet. But have you ever wondered how they do it? What makes the blue wildebeest so perfectly suited for this incredible feat? Today, we're diving deep into their anatomy, uncovering the secrets of their legs, hooves, stamina, and more. Get ready to be amazed by one of nature's most extraordinary endurance athletes. Let's start with their legs, the foundation of their incredible journey. Wildebeest are built like marathon runners, but with a twist. Their long, slender legs are not just for show, they're powerhouses of efficiency, designed to cover vast distances with minimal energy expenditure. Think of them as the ultimate endurance machines. Here's the science. Wildebeest have lightweight, but incredibly strong bones. This reduces the energy needed to move, allowing them to trot for hours without tiring. Their leg muscles are optimized for sustained activity rather than short bursts of speed. This is why they can cover up to 30 miles in a single day during migration. That's like running a marathon every day for weeks on end. And it's not just about distance. Their legs are also incredibly versatile. Whether they're navigating rocky outcrops, muddy riverbanks, or dusty plains, their legs provide the perfect balance of strength and flexibility. It's like having a built-in all-terrain vehicle. Now let's talk about their hooves, nature's ultimate all-terrain boots. Wildebeest hooves are broad, tough, and slightly curved, giving them stability on almost any surface. Whether they're traversing rocky terrain, slippery riverbanks, or soft mud, these hooves provide the perfect grip. And when it comes to river crossings, their hooves are absolute lifesavers. The wide surface area helps them navigate slippery rocks and soft riverbeds, reducing the risk of getting stuck. It's like having built-in hiking boots and flippers combined. But here's a fascinating fact. Wildebeest hooves are also slightly splayed, which helps distribute their weight more evenly. This prevents them from sinking into soft ground, a critical adaptation for surviving the unpredictable conditions of the migration. But what about their stamina? How do wildebeest keep going day after day, week after week, covering thousands of miles without collapsing from exhaustion? The answer lies in their incredible cardiovascular system. Wildebeest have large hearts and lungs relative to their body size, allowing them to pump oxygen-rich blood to their muscles efficiently. This means they can maintain a steady pace for hours without tiring. And here's a fun fact. Wildebeest can even regulate their body temperature by panting, much like dogs, to avoid overheating during the hottest parts of the day. It's like having built-in air conditioning. Another key to their stamina is their ability to conserve energy. Wildebeest are not sprinters. They're endurance specialists. They move at a steady trot, which is far more energy efficient than running at full speed. This allows them to cover vast distances without burning through their energy reserves too quickly. Of course, all this running requires fuel. Wildebeest are herbivores, and their digestive systems are perfectly adapted to extract maximum nutrients from tough, fibrous grasses. They have a four-chambered stomach, similar to cows, which allows them to break down cellulose and extract every bit of energy from their food. This means they can graze quickly and keep moving, ensuring they're always one step ahead of predators and the changing seasons. But here's another fascinating fact. 
Wildebeest are what we call bulk grazers. They consume large quantities of low quality grass, which is abundant, but not very nutritious. Their digestive system is so efficient that it can extract enough nutrients to sustain their massive bodies and energy demands. It's like running a car on low grade fuel and still getting top performance. Speaking of predators, wildebeest aren't just endurance athletes. They're also built for survival. Their strong legs and hooves aren't just for migration. They're also their first line of defense. When a lion or hyena attacks, wildebeest can deliver powerful kicks to fend off their attackers. And their herding behavior adds another layer of protection. With thousands of eyes and ears on the lookout, predators have a much harder time singling out an individual. It's like having a built-in security system. But here's something you might not know. Wildebeest calves are born precocial, meaning they can stand and run within minutes of being born. This is crucial for their survival, as predators are always on the lookout for vulnerable newborns. So, What's the takeaway? The blue wildebeest is a masterpiece of evolution, perfectly adapted to the challenges of migration. From their powerful legs and tough hooves, to their incredible stamina, efficient digestion and survival instincts, every part of their anatomy plays a role in their survival. These animals are a testament to the power of adaptation and the resilience of life. The next time you see footage of the Great Migration, remember, you are witnessing one of the most extraordinary feats of endurance in the animal kingdom. The blue wildebeest is more than just a migratory animal. It's a symbol of perseverance, and the incredible interconnectedness of nature. Their journey shapes the ecosystems they pass through, providing food for predators and fertilizing the land with their droppings. They are a vital part of the circle of life. Narrator, thanks for joining us on this journey into the anatomy of the blue wildebeest. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the natural world. Until next time, keep exploring.